Uh, my brother and I went on the Wounded Hero of Origin. Right now I'm working on trying to get some of the, in my mind, are heroes. And I want to put them on the cover of the book. I don't know all of them, but a couple of them I do. My house burnt down and i uh, got a couple of firefighters here that I'm going to try to ghost down and put them on the cover. So anyway, I got this guy here and I'm going to bring him up into the picture. Picture's been blown up so I can see. I kind of want him, I don't know, maybe there or something like that. Boom! Wow, look how big it is. It's way too big. I gotta shrink them down. Uh, the only way I know how to do it is go over here to scroll up to them and find his handles. Click on the handles on them, and there's a little box right there. And I'm just gonna drag it over this way, and then move the picture back up some more and drag it some more, and just keep dragging until I get them smaller. And now I'm gonna move them with the handle tool. I can just hit H. Turns this into a handle. Oops, actually, it doesn't. Gotta go back to the hand. Oh, it's because I'm I, I'm on the move tool. That's why. I can move them just like that anyway. Anyway, uh, grab the double handle. Keep shrinking them down. Looks like he's never gonna get there. I just keep going. I gotta get rid of this. I'm gonna kind of make them into like a ghost because. Uh, there's the Wounded Hero of Origin. There's only two people on the trip, me and my brother. Uh, a couple of times early in the trip we had a Wounded Hero ride a couple hundred miles with us. Um, but anyway, um, so I'm going to make this guy into a ghost. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get rid of this white. I've already uh, cut him out and, and put him on this back sheet of white paper. Uh, but for this picture, I got a, um, for storage, I had him that way. Now I'm going to put him on the boat. So I come over here to this eraser tool here. Click on that, and it says something about applying. I guess I got to apply the size of it first. Said OK, apply. Same thing as the green check mark. And I got the eraser tool out here. I'm going to click on the white background. It's going to get rid of all the white continuously around it. Uh, well, it didn't get rid of down here because it's not continuous. It's broken up by his arm. So I get that, and this here. Uh, I don't know if that's right there any white or not. I think it might be something showing up on the boat. So I'm going to move him to make sure. Nope, oh, that's white on him. So come back to the eraser tool. And this is good while I, I didn't shrink it down too much. Oops, made a mistake. Hit the wrong color. Control Z to get it back. Actually, a little bit down here in the corner. Well, actually, I can't even see that. I'm going to go ahead and, and blow them up a little bit so that I can, um, I can see them better. bit of white up here so let's just try the eraser tool again. There's like a little star, it's hard to see, but there's a little star next to the eraser and that's the one that you have to line up over the spot. Don't seem to be getting it there. I got rid of something, what was that? I'm not sure what I got rid of. Oh, that's a strap on his helmet. I'm going to leave that. Can't seem to get it. I'll try this little bit here. I got that. Something on his hand. That might be the... Yep, I got that. Right now I'm only working this one picture, so it, it, it's only... Okay, pretty much. There's a little bit here I have to get off somehow. Let's blow it up some more, maybe that make it easier. I hit the Z, click, click. Mouse to move it over. And the hand to move it over. I'm sorry about that. Back to the tool. And I don't know why I can't get the rest of that off of there. Not coming off. Anyway, I have no clue why. So let's finish shrinking this guy down. Back to the hand tools, come back up here, and shrink them down some more. By the way, that ice was pretty cold around there. Let's shrink the whole picture down some. Let's find it, uh, where is it, to shrink the size to fit. Apply, yeah, I'm applying. I don't know why i got to apply all the time. I'm trying to find the button to, so that it shrinks to fit. 
guess it's under the zoom tool. It is under the zoom, shrink to fit screen, fill screen. I want to shrink it to fit the screen. I can kind of see how he is. Now I'm just going to blow him up a little bit. I can see him to work on him better. Uh, put the handles on him. Move him up. He's still a little too big. So I'll shrink him back down. You can't even see those couple little tiny spots I was trying to get off of there. Now I gotta find a place. I don't have any legs for him. He wasn't in the picture. If I'm gonna use him with legs, I gotta Photoshop some legs on him. And I might do that. But for now, let me see if I can find a place to stick him. It won't look so bad. Like he might be behind something. That's my brother Ralph driving. I'm on a surfboard right now. And I see if I got him back behind the gas cans. That you work right there. It's about the right size. He looks like he might be normal, like his legs are behind the, the gas can. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to opaque him. Let's come on. This is his, his uh, what do you call it, um, layer is right here. So I'm going to come over here. This is really easy. This is really cool. I come pick the check mark on that, on the opacity. And it gives me this little slide bar. And as I slide the bar, he disappears. Uh, that's 42. It's pretty light. Uh, 50%. Let's see how that looks. Click off there. You can kind of see he's there. I don't know if it really looks like a ghost or not, but uh, we'll leave him there for now and do the rest of them.